Hello YouTube. I thought I'd do a quick video here. This is part two of the RS1 2020 Echo Link Zello interface box. My part one was the kind of the introduction of that. This this video is part two. This is how it works. Um, I did a video on how to get a ball fang uh, squelch line. So you can do this. Uh, so you have to. I'll put. I'll put the links in the description below. Uh, first thing is first. I want to show you that this thing does work. So what we're gonna do is we got. Uh, get this phone here ready. Um, we're gonna do a quick test here, and you can kind of see it now. There's gonna be interference and feedback and all kinds of weird noises because I'm way too close. But you'll get the point. So I set the radio here. Let's key this up, and then you'll hear it come over this radio. Radio check, radio check. Turn up the volume. It's gonna, it's gonna have a ton of echoing and feedback, but you'll get the point. Radio check. One, two, three, four. Whoa. See? Okay. But you know, you, you, you get it. You have to not be so close. Obviously. Now I'm gonna talk on this, and then you're gonna hear it over here. Let me make sure the volume's up. And here we go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Like I said, a ton of interference. So it, it, this having this close does not help. But there you go. It does work. Um, now the next thing I want to show you. So let's go ahead and move these out of the way so that we can talk about how I did this. Uh, this white cord is what came with the box. I didn't want to cut it. So like I said in another video, I ordered like a pack of fives, five of these S video. So you can take one of these, you should mount it in a metal box and then ground the box with the ground pin on the um, uh, pin five, I believe is the ground pin on here. I'll post a link to the owner's manual. When you get this, it does not come with the owner's manual. So I mounted that and so that's how I got that hooked up. I will do a schematic diagram of this um, and I will also post that in the link. I'm trying to think here what else. And also too, since we're using this on Zello. We don't need to use the serial port right here. Serial port's not needed for Zello. Now, if you use Echo Link or All Star, then I believe you got to use the serial port. The owner's man will tell you if you need to use the serial port, you're going to have to install the driver for that. That owner's man will talk about that too. If you're not going to use the serial port because you're doing it on Zello, you just need the USB audio and the USB de detection. Windows 10 does does automatically detect that when you plug it in. So you don't have to worry about any drivers for that. Now, as for hooking up to the computer. Now, I, maybe it's my old computer. I don't know. Um, I did have, I had. I tried to use a, a hub. And I don't know. It, it seemed, uh, I don't know. It didn't seem to work really correctly. Um, then I used a power hub, and it didn't really like that. So I, I plugged the cables in direct, and I have no problems. So keep that in mind. If you're having issues, and you're using a power hub or a non-power hub, unplug it and try to go direct to the computer. Like I said, maybe just my computer. It's old. I don't know. Um, but that's probably a good possibility. It could be my computer. The next thing, when you do Zello, now I'm going to try to hold this up. It's pretty simple. You go to uh, Tools. You go to Options. I guess I'm holding this. I apologize. You go to Audio, and it's going to come up, as you can see on the screen there, Speaker USB PNP. Yours might say Speaker 4 or 3 or whatever number. It don't matter. But it's the USB PNP. You guys, make sure you select that, the speaker one and the microphone. 
Of course, you might have to adjust the volumes on here and on the on the radio volume. You might you'll have to adjust that. So if you have distortion, make sure you adjust this. And then if you have other distortion, you can go ahead and adjust the main volume on the computer. Okay. Um, so I didn't. I turn off mic boost. That seemed to work better for me. Uh, you'll have to play with your settings. Same with the noise suppression. You may have to turn that off or leave it on. Depends. And then you go to control and you set it so that push to talk is the me middle mouse button. Again, the owner's man uh, of the box will tell you this. That's all you got to do. That's it. There's no Vox setting. There is nothing else at all. Um, that's that's it. So that's kind of nice. You don't have to worry about Vox. Uh, what else here? Um, also, too, and, and maybe perhaps um, I have these kind of close. This is obviously the Bullfang radio. I'm going to try to separate this more. That may help with any interference when you have, you know, this thing's transmitting four watts right next to that. Now, even though this is metal, it should shield it pretty good, but you might want to separate it. Um, I'll post a link to these cables. Remember, I in the other video, I bought one cable and I cut it in half. That's how I got the cables. Uh, I think that's really about it. The volume on here, on this radio, is the volume that when you push this button here to talk, this volume on this radio that plays over Zello is what you'll have to adjust if there's distortion. When you're listening to this radio and the person is talking on the phone, and if it sounds distorted on this radio, then you got to adjust the volume, the master volume on your computer. Right there. Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense. I'll say it one more time. If it sounds, if you're talking on this and people are listening with this and they say, hey, you sound distorted, then you got to adjust this volume on the radio. If someone's talking on this, and you're listening with this, and it sounds distorted, or too high, or whatever, then you adjust the volume on the computer. And again, it'll say USB PNP sound device. Okay, so that's how that works. Uh, let's see, what else? Obviously, with this ball thing, I'm running a battery eliminator. I got a 12-volt power supply over there. Um, Baofeng, eh, it's an okay radio. Probably might be better to try to maybe try to hook this up to a mobile or maybe a, a, a repeater. Um, it, it works okay for what it is. I could program this radio with my repeater frequency so this would connect to the repeater and then I'd get more, you know, more distance. Um, I could do that too, you know, technically speaking, um. I don't have that done right now because I don't have a repeater. It's all apart. That's another story. Um, that's another thing I'm working on. Um, so let's see. Uh, I think that is all. I think that's about everything I can think of. So hopefully this video will help. Yes, it's possible to use this on a GMRS radio, whether it's a handheld or a mobile uh, the main thing is, is knowing the microphone out, the speaker out. This box relies on the squelch pen. That's the only little hiccup that can be maybe a little bit of a pain. It de when it detects uh, the receive, that's how it knows to go ahead and start to transmit ze over Zello. So you got to know the, the squelch pan, or I think they also call it the COS pan. There's, an, I think, another name. Uh, COR detect, I think, is another name. So you got to make sure the radio you want to hook it to has that particular pen. 
whether you got to take the radio apart or if you can get it from the, the microphone jacks or not. You'll just have to do a little research on that. But that's the only little downside, I guess, so to speak, uh, uh, when you do this blue box. Um, oh, then if you do do it with Zello, ASL, the switch is in off, and you want it to be in YKI, make sure that's up. The other one's for a Motorola radio, but if you're doing a DIY, you need these these switches got to be up. And it tells you that in the owner's manual too. So, but I'm just pointing it out. Um, there is a light on here that does turn red and green when the unit's in use. Um, just to let you know that. Um, yeah, it did come with this cable and it came with this cable. And that's all. Did not come with no CD. No drivers, no owner's manual, no nothing. So, but I'll post all that in the description below. Uh, I think that's really about it. So I hope this video helps. And if you have any questions or comments, please post them down below. And please subscribe. And thank you and have a good day.